Mike Neheiser, uh, founder of Beacon Rock Research for Mining Clips, and with me is Paul West Sells, president and COO of Western Copper and Gold Corporation. That's WRN on the TSX and the NYSE market. Paul, thanks for joining me. Thank you, Mike. Good to see you again. Well, I really enjoyed coming up last summer and seeing your project. And for people that may not be familiar with um, your, your project in the Yukon, uh, why don't you give us this quick summary? Uh, sure, Mike. Uh, your casino is a, a world-class, really a world-class copper gold project located in the Yukon. Uh, as you can see, we're standing in front of it here, 9 million ounces of gold uh, in the uh, reserve and another 9 million ounces of gold in the inferred resource. Uh, copper's on the slide on the other side, but in total we've got 10 billion pounds of copper as well. So just an absolute world-class large copper gold deposit located in the Yukon. Where are you in terms of uh, the advanced state? Are you at feasibility or you're in permitting? Where, where are you right now in the, the scale of moving to production? Right, so we issued a full bankable feasibility study on the project a little over a year ago. came out in January 2013, showed absolutely great economics on the project. You're looking at a uh, 1.8 billion net present value, 20.1% IRR, after-tax values, conservative long-term prices. Uh, that was a year ago, two weeks ago, got the permit application in. So where, we're, where we are now is we're sitting two years away from essentially having this project fully shovel ready. So that, you know that's, that's an exciting prospect really in my mind, is to have a large world-class copper gold deposit in a great location in the Yukon, you know, essentially less than two years away at this point in time. What do you think investors can look forward to as far as like news flow or accomplishments so they can track your progress uh, in the next couple of years? Well, you know, we're, we're going to be going through the permitting and, you know, permitting is, is not just one step. There's several steps along that. So we're going to see hit some intermediate uh, milestones as we go through that. Uh, and, you know, the other big push is that, you know, this is a big, attractive project. Uh, it's going to take more than ourselves to, to, to build this and uh finance it. So we're going to be really focusing probably in the second half of the year at finding the right partners, finding the financing and bringing the project forward. Well, you know, it's interesting that uh, copper prices really have hung in there. And if you listen to uh, what's going on in China, still copper seems to be a story. But, you know, what are your thoughts about the copper market and especially uh, the, maybe uh, for uh, mining companies? Sure. Yeah. No, I, you know, I, I'm a huge copper bull and, and I think for some very, very simple reasons, uh, you know, they call copper Dr. Copper. And the reason why is that it's just a very simple economics. And, and, you know, if China is doing well, if the global economy is doing well, copper really is, is in a position to really shoot up. And, you know, you look at over the past 2013, 2014, the consensus was there's going to be an oversupply of copper. Well, that didn't really materialize. So now really the conversation is, where's the copper going to come, you know, after 2014? And there just really is not a lot of large copper projects that are anywhere close to being in the pipeline to supply the supply deficit that's coming up. And, you know, that's why we're, we're pretty happy to have one that's going to be ready to go in, in, in less than two years. So, and we looked at one of these metrics and, you know, by 2022, which admittedly is a little ways away, there needs to be 45 projects the size of Casino. 45. I mean, I can think of about five off the top of my head. 45 projects the size of Casino in order to meet the, inc the need of copper over the next, you know, eight years. And where are these projects located? Well, exactly. I mean, well, we've got the one that's in, in the Yukon. I mean, there's a couple other in first world jurisdictions like Canada or the U.S., but, you know, increasingly they're in much more questionable jurisdictions and just more difficult jurisdictions to bring a project forward. You know, you're talking Africa, you're talking uh, parts of Asia, areas like that. Well, it's interesting that Yukon could be a real solution for a lot of the world's problems for those projects and uh, metals. But Paul, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, again, I'm Mike Neheiser with Beacon Rock Research and with me is Paul Wessels, President and CEO of Western Copper and Gold Company. That's WRN on the TSX and the New York Stock Exchange markets. Thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you, Mike.